Welcome back to the Daily Brigandi. Today we have a really nice Roger Maris single sign baseball. Very tough ball um, in general, but you'll notice right away the condition on this beauty is just uh, really, really nice. In fact, it's graded a PSA 7.5, an uh, 8 on the signature and a 7 on the ball. Just a really nice um, blooming signature. And the ball, I don't know if you could tell through the video here, but it's in person. It's pearly white and the stitches are you know, nice uh, nice and red. So uh, PSA graded. Roger Maris balls are pretty tough. Um, we get them in, you know, very uh, rarely maybe a couple a year, but it's something that's such a good seller here, right? Always. So yeah. we always, we're always hunt, on the hunt for them, always looking for them. Um, so we just got this one in here, and uh, we also have some other items too. Yeah, a lot of other stuff. Um, There's a cool piece right here, 1961 um, ticket from the second game of the season, signed by Maris. Obviously, 1961, Maris and teammate Mickey Mantle, the m, &M boys, you know, they battled it out uh, to break Babe Ruth's single season home run record of 60 home runs. And of course, it was Maris in the end in 61 who hit 61 home runs that you know claimed the record um so pretty cool the true home run, the king. True home run king as a lot of people especially you know here 57th and park mm -hmm. chris brigandi always saying he's a true home run king no steroids all natural you know every guy that's hit more uh than 61 home runs since that has been implicated in you know the steroid scandal of the late 90s early 2000s of course um, one of the things that makes Maris um, so rare on a single sign baseball is that he died so young. Um, he was right. only 51 years old. Uh, he passed away um, in 1985. And, uh, you know, one of the things, you know, uh, one of his last public appearances was at the 1983 All-Star Game. So other items that we get, um, you know, Mantle and Maris dual signed items are so popular, you know, valuable, rare. Um, a lot of times you'll see. Um, a baseball, an official 1983 All-Star Game baseball signed by the two of them. And right. uh, we've, we've had a couple of those in the sure. past, which are always, you know, they right. fly right off. You right. know, as soon as you get it, you sell it like that. Right. They're so popular. And um, comparing him to Mantle, Mantle signed throughout the 80s. Um, as we've told you before in these videos, he basically kicked off the sports memorabilia autograph craze yeah. in the 80s and the 90s. Um, so there's tons of Mantle stuff out there. But Maris never did uh, these shows. I mean, people say he did like one or two shows in the early 80s, but that was it. So Maris autographs are mostly from either his playing days or in his short retirement before he had uh, passed away, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so this is cool on a ticket because it is, you know, from 1961, that's when he signed it. Um, so that's a period autograph. That's why we really like it. Um, but I love Maris. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, it's always debated, you know, um, obviously hitting 61 home runs, the true home run king, right? It's an iconic moment, one of the most important seasons of baseball, 1961. And you can argue it for days whether a guy like Maris should be in the Hall of Fame. Because when you look at his career numbers, he only played for 12 years. And his career numbers, you know, they don't stack up with the greatest baseball players of all time, despite having such an iconic season. Um, so, I mean, it's one of the questions we want to ask you guys, you know, right. watching this video, you know, definitely comment. Do you think Roger Maris should be in the Hall of Fame? And I do want to put CB on the spot right now, man. Do you, yes. do you think he should be 100%. in? Yes, 100% in the Hall of Fame. Put him in. There's so many guys in the Hall of Fame right now. Um, that if you could, were to compare them to Roger Maris, you'd be like, how is this guy in? Um, we just put in, for example, not to blow up Harold Baines, but <laughs> he just got voted in. Yeah. Why isn't Roger Maris in? Yeah. I know he played 12 years, short career. Um, his career stats might, might not be the greatest, but uh, hey, Sandy Koufax only played, yeah, what, 12 years? Exactly, too? and this yeah. first, the first half of Sandy's career wasn't that impressive. Right. Of course, you know, the, the latter half was right. crazy good, maybe one of the you know, best right. pitcher ever. But, uh, you know, yeah. to start off, his first six seasons were not too great right. for Sandy. So the, the career numbers um, early on weren't great. The Yankee fan in me, of course, biased. You know, I want Maris right. to Push be him in. in. Put him in. You know, you can always, you know, you can argue both sides. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the steroid scandal, too, right? Guys like Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens aren't in. I think eventually all those guys will. Maybe, yeah. Whether it's, knows, you know, yeah. it could be in 100 years. I don't think it's anytime soon. I think one, if those guys get in, I think a guy like Maris has to be in. You know, He held that record for, I want to say it was 35 to 36 years, the single-season right. home run king. Um, and you know he broke Babe Ruth's record, which right. is just an, one From of the- 1927. Yeah, so. just an iconic <laughs> moment. So uh, I think it's enough to, uh, to put him in the hall. And hopefully the Veterans Committee you know, agrees someday. Right. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, put him in. Hopefully, hopefully we'll put him yeah. in. Yeah. Um, so thanks for watching The Daily Brigandi. If you have any questions about Maris or any other- um, autographs, Yankee items, anything. Yeah, just uh, leave a comment below. See you tomorrow.